Hello everyone again, welcome to another Fusion 360 Tips. In this video we're going to go over another modified tool and that one would be offset face. Now an offset face will be used in instances such as this. As you see here, let's say we've went ahead and cut out a section in a solid piece of steel or whatever only to find out that we want to resize the hole that we've made. We've already gone ahead and made our sketch and went ahead and cut out the shape and now we want to make it a little smaller or just a little bit bigger. How would we go about doing that? Well, we would use the offset face tool. So we'll go ahead and select our offset face tool. And as it says, you want to select a face. So these little individual square things that are divided up. You can either select one face or multiple face. In this case, we're going to select multiples because we want to continue this outer piece here to bring it in. So once we have all those selected, as you see, we begin to move this arrow. This whole thing will begin to resize and it will keep the same shape that we originally had, just making it smaller and bringing it in closer and closer. Now you have to be with a watchful eye. You want to be sure when you start highlighting these things, if you were only to select these two, as you can see, you're going to start having some some weird things happen. Uh, not so much in that instance. Let's try this one. We'll just select these two here. We'll begin to bring them in and sometimes it will begin to distort. It doesn't look like it is this time but in the past I have had it kind of do some weird things on me. You can also select all of these and also make it bigger too and it will maintain the shape. Now you might say, isn't this a little similar to a press pull? Yes, in a way it is similar to a press pull, but it's a little bit different. So if we were to use a press pull, it will only allow me to pick one face to modify. So I'm gonna click this face here and drag my arrow. As you can see, it starts to distort our shape that we originally had. It no longer has this little curve piece right here, and it starts to really jack things up. Now, press pulls you can use in many instances, but if you want to maintain the shape of something and select multiple, multiple faces, then offset face would probably be the tool that you would want to be using and utilizing for whatever you're working on. So, hopefully this video was helpful. That's pretty much all we really need to cover. I believe it's just kind of an introductory to this basic feature. and. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if these are helpful. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay creative.